In this app, we learn about text views. First, we create a text view and set some of its properties. Then we add a button and add some text views uh, programmatically with Java. We create a new project and set its name to text views. Then we go to our XML file, change the linear load orientation to vertical. Add a text view, set its uh, width and height to match parent and wrap content. We can add an ID to it if uh, we want to use this text view later in this file or in our Java. We can set uh, the text and uh, set it uh, like a loader. Uh, With uh, gravity uh, equal center, we can uh, center it uh, in view. With text size, uh, we can set its uh, text size. There are different options, pixel, dp, or sp. Uh, Android system, there are different uh, Android uh, phones, tablets, uh, which use uh, Android system, operation system. So, uh, it's best to use a DP or SP. For views, we use a DP and for text, we use SP, which uh, stands for shell independent pixel and DP stands for device independent pixel. So, this is a text and we use a 20 uh, SP. We can add uh, Set uh, this text view color with text color property and set it to black. We can change the font of this text view with a typeface property and set it to serif. We can add a, a link to our text view, for example, google.com. For this link to be a link and user can click on it we use o2 link property and we can send it to email web or all we set it to all okay this is our text view and we set some of its properties now we add an id to our linear layout uh, we want a button here, so when whenever user clicks on this button, we add a, we uh, we give a system system date and uh, and add another text view to our layout. So we create uh, our button, centerize it, and set it text to add another text view, and add an ID to it so we can reference it in our mm -hmm. Java code. Now it's time to, to reference our linear layout and our button. We use linear layout class and name it a linear layout container. And use find view by ID and cast it to a linear layout. We add a reference to our button. We use find view by ID and cast it to a button. Now we add an event to this button. We want uh, whenever user actually on this button, uh, get system system's date and create a text view with this text and 
از دیستکس ویو تو اور لائنر لے آؤٹ سو وی کریٹ اے ٹیکسٹ ویو نیم ایٹ ٹیکسٹ ویو اینڈ وی ہیو ٹو پاس اے کانٹیکسٹ ٹو ایٹ وی یوز مین ایکٹیویٹی ڈاٹ دس فار اور کانٹیکسٹ نو وی کین سیٹ سم آف ایٹس پروپرٹیز فار ایگزامپل ٹیکسٹ وی یوز ٹیکسٹ ویو ڈاٹ سیٹ ڈاٹ سیٹ ٹیکسٹ And uh, to get system date, we use uh, system dot uh, current time millis, which uh, returns a long of uh, milliseconds. And we use a uh, date class to to convert it to date and to a string to convert it to a string. We use set text color to, to change color of our text view. First, we need to add a color to our colors.xml file inside values folder. We want to use TL700. Uh, so we use context compat. Digit color. First, uh, we set uh, a context which is main activity that is and r dot colors dot uh, color name it is tl700 next we can uh, set uh, the size of text view with uh, dot set text size and pass uh, 18 now we want to change font of or uh, text view we use typeface class and use typeface dot create uh, create from assets for asset manager we pass uh, jet assets and uh, we have to add pass for uh, font for this we have to add a uh, a directory and we set its name to assets and it has to be inside main assets folder and add another directory inside it and name it fonts it has to uh, has an s at last and add or font inside this folder okay no, we pass uh, the, the pass of these fonts, which is fonts, abel.ttf. No, we set text view dot, uh, set uh, typeface and pass or typeface to it. And add this text view to our linear layout. We use linear layout container dot add view and pass or text view. For this text view to be center, we use text view uh, dot uh, set gravity and pass center. Now we run our app. This is our text view with some properties and this is our button. Whenever user clicks on this button, a text view with system date created and added to our linear load. Thank you for watching.